In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a histogram using Excel 2016, 2019, or 365. So in these newer versions of Excel, you'll notice if you come up to the Insert tab under the Charts group, they have an option here called Insert Statistic Chart. And when you click on the drop-down arrow, you have a couple different types of hist histograms here, and then you can also do box plots. So I have my data set here. I have 1,470 rows, which are observations about employees at a fictional company. And what I'm interested in learning about is the distribution of their monthly income. So since I have my data formatted as a table, I'm simply going to bring my cursor up here until it turns to a black down arrow. I'm going to click once, which selects my data without selecting my column headings. And then up here in the charts group, I'm going to select this first histogram option here. And there you go. You have a histogram. Now, most folks like to experiment a little bit with the number of bins they use to visualize their distribution. So first thing I'm going to come down here and do is I'm going to click on my horizontal or my x-axis. I'm going to right click on it, select format axis, and into my dialog here I'm going to select the number of bins radio button and I'm going to say I want 10 bins for this so I'm going to type in 10 and tab out and you can see that it automatically adjusts. Now it's not typical to have the lower and upper bounds actually annotated on a histogram so I want to get rid of those so I'm going to come up to add chart element and under axes I'm going to select primary horizontal that gets rid of those and now I can add my axes titles for both my x and my y axis and if I want to change what those are I could simply click inside them and make the necessary changes and that right there is all that there is to it if you like what you see feel free to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and until next time happy learning